Well, good morning, folks. We're Edward here on the 22nd of July, 2024. Looking down into Waldo Stadium, the home of the Western Michigan University Broncos down there in the field. A little conditioning training. We're here to talk about an aspect of the Broncos. Something that happens every time here at the home field when they make a touchdown. At least it did. Talk about that in just a second. Here's one of the older buildings here, part of Western, and so forth. But I'm going to talk about the ROTC. The ROTC program here. They had a real World War II 75 millimeter pack howitzer with plenty of live, real full house blank cartridges for it. And they'd roll that up here during game day and they'd set that howitzer right here. Every time the Broncos would make a touchdown, they'd fire the cannon. And it was loud as hell. It would really echo. And as you can see, the sign still denotes this is Boomer. The 75 millimeter pack howitzer. Boomer's noise hazard area, hearing protection advised. You can bet. You can bet. I don't know if they still do this. I don't know if Boomer is still in existence. We had a 75 pack right outside our Sergeant Major's office uh, at our headquarters, uh, our battalion headquarters in Friedberg, Germany. And every now and then, Sergeant Major would have the gun crew go and lock and load it with blanks, just like this one, and fire it. Fourth of July, New Year's Eve, things like that. And so I'm familiar with the 75s. And Western ROTC had one. So we'll see this fall. If we hear the boomer, if it's still here, we hope that it booms an awful lot for those Broncos down there. There's greater uh, Western Michigan University's campus there, all in the background. Running all the way through there. This is the Sealy Center practice center, indoor practice center, beautiful center. Oh, beautiful place. Anyways, the Boomer thought you'd like to uh, take a look at this. I don't have any photographs I can show you of a Pac-75. They are online. Uh, you'll see how it could be broke down into four different elements and packed on the back of mules or horses uh, and taken up through the, uh, the hills and so forth. They use them a lot in Italy. Uh, as the in World War II as the Allies were were uh, moving up the boot and they had those packs they also used them in the Pacific uh, much easier to get around than a 105 uh, but even the 75 pack would get buried uh, too big they'd have to go to mortars if they had them or other things but anyways a little bit of military history here go Broncos have a great day